Hello and welcome back to Attingham Park. We are in Field 6 and we are com well, completing, carrying out a potato harvesting contract. I have taken both sets of equipment um, from this field and also field number 37. So, yeah, we're 32% uh, through this one. We need to get that harvester unloaded. Um, trying to set up a little bit of an auto drive loop, um, but the field entrance for this field is uh, not quite big enough um, to allow us to uh, fully automate this process. So uh, we've got two tractors and trailers doing the carting and we've got this uh, I guess you'd call it an auger wagon um, and we're just following the harvesters around and emptying them when they get full so at the minute we are just waiting for a driver to come back let's uh, just have a quick tap through to see where that one that one's just uh, turning itself around and coming back to the field, I think. And this one is about to deliver the first load, hopefully. So we'll just keep an eye on this and see how they get on. Should be okay. Um, but yeah, failing that, we will tweak the course and intervene. Well, it worked. And uh, we have got the potatoes going into the delivery point. 40% complete on the field and 24% transported. Excellent. So that now will head back to field six where we can uh, get it loaded up again. Well, that's rather good timing. We've got the New Holland with that. I think it's a Chrome trailer on, isn't it? Um, just maneuvering to the wait point. Come on, man. Very hesitant driver. There we go. There we go. Key come in. And then we can unload into here. I have filled up the Massey with the Bradner Power Tube trailer on it. So that's uh, merrily on its way to county stores as well. Are we going to have an issue here with the harvester? No? Excellent. So it's not actually taking that long, um, this field. It's a reasonable size field for a root crop. I'm thinking that uh, the other field, though, is going to take uh, a while longer, let's say. Um, a significantly bigger field. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do it, though. We've got a good system set up, and uh, with that field... I think there's probably more space to set up an actually properly automated uh, route so we can either be on a harvester or we can be carting or, or running the auger wagon so get these harvesters unloaded they can carry on and uh, we'll catch up shortly well so far so good um, only had one incident of the uh, potato harvesters crossing augers um but yeah it's uh i'm such a child um yeah it's going good we are probably we've probably done well we have done probably two-thirds of the field i'd reckon um corners are always a absolute nuisance with these harvesters um so probably whiz around and get some of the bits that we can quite easily see um at the end but yeah it's going well um i've just had a thought as well about the um getting the auto drive the org wagon on auto drive if i remember rightly yeah we did when when i did the field 16 um soybean harvest wasn't it i think um yeah we've got several different points so what i'll do is i'll have a look at those um and how they loop in to one another when we come to set up 
in field number 37. You'll see we've already got, that's for 40, but we're near the main road. We could probably come in, have a wait point for the tractor and do something funky for the auger wagon. So that's the plan because that should, oh my word, I've got to see this. It's going to tip it over. They have, it's like, um, I don't know, buffalo fighting with a horns locked or something. Oh my word. Oh, this is going to cause absolute carnage now. Right. Um, <laughs> rather than eye standing. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Are they? They're free. Let's just see where they're going to end up now, though, because I can imagine that's messed up uh, course play somewhat. Well, we are in the lead harvester, or it was the lead harvester, should I say, and uh, we're just mopping up the last few bits uh, of the field that were missed by the harvesters. So that's all that done. So we need to grab, in fact, we can unload straight into this trailer here, he says, without ripping the side out of it. Need to uh, just, there we go. Oh, we finished the contract. Super. That must have just had enough in it then. Excellent. Okay. Brill. Right, what we can do now is get that folded up. We can find the other one and get that folded up. We're going to have a bit of a follow me convoy as we move down to the next field. Um, what I need to do is find somewhere to stick those uh, potatoes. Polite answers only, please. Um, I think they are just going to have to be dumped on the floor for now. It shouldn't hurt, um, but uh, we'll see what we've got. 12,000 litres. I wonder. Yeah, definitely going to have to dump them on the floor, I reckon. Um, decision made. Can't be uh, faffing about. We need to get the, uh, the other contract finished. Right then, we are all at field 37. I've uh, put in a wait point. We've put in an auger point. So now what we need to do is uh, get this out of the way first. Just because we need to send the harvesters round. So that should be fine there. Then we can. Oh, I need to empty this. I'd got it uh, filled up the yoga wagon just to uh, test the unload point. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we are now got uh, field 37 weight hotel potatoes. So we need that to be for this one as well. So field 37 weight hotel and potatoes get those all turned on ready so that should just wait there right now we need a harvester so into the course play menu and we will create a job and we will Pick the field position. We will put a target position of here and we'll open the course generator. So, three meter working with two tools, five headlands, start on the headland, counterclockwise, yes. Field center lands, automatic, longest edge. Go with automatic. Rows to skip when changing to the next up and down row. I'm going to say two. 
just to allow the um, harvesters to pass each other. So that looks pretty good. A little bit of a weird route back over here, but not too worried about that one. So they're going to start first waypoint and left. Okay, go. Thank you. Let's find the next one. We need to, in fact, we need to go back to this one. We need to go into this menu and we're going to save the course. Activate F37 Potato. There we go. So that's now active. We're out of there into here. And we will find filled the same potato. We'll clear the current course and we'll load that one up. There we go. We can then bring this menu up, which is our course play menu. It's going to go to the right and we can hire a worker. And then we need to see why this one has stopped. <laughs> You're not wanting to work today? Oh, they've cleared off. Probably might help if we set it to first wave points left yeah there we go it's just moved out of the way and driving into a tree i'll be back in a second well sometime later um <laughs> oh dear um i don't know why i do it to myself really um yeah first load delivered seven percent uh towards completing the contract now that's going to hopefully pull out the way and the Massey who is probably causing a massive traffic jam over there is uh, hopefully going to pull in in its place what on earth are you doing now let's just have a quick look at the course oh uh, it's just working it's working its way out cool okay so that's fine that's now going to hopefully go left Yes, come on, get in. And then the Massey will go and tip, and we can carry on. There we go. Look at the size of that traffic jam. Oops. Um, I am tempted to get our John Deere and trailer to assist with the carting, as uh, yeah, the harvesters seem to be filling up rather quick. So we'll go and grab the John Deere now and get down to the field. Well, we are making significant progress. Um, the auto drive and course play is working okay. I'm having to help the tractors across uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the brook, um, or the, the passing point across the river. Um, I think it's probably the weight um, that's in the tractors. But uh, yeah, it's not a problem. Just have to keep uh, tabbing over every now and again to uh, assist them. So let's back up out of the way here. And that can carry on. Don't think this one's full. No, that's good. So, right, we will get this to the road and send it off to the hotel. But yeah, it's going good. Um, 
need to obviously come around at the end and harvest any missed bits that uh, course players decided not to harvest <laughs> um, but yeah I'm half tempted to uh, maybe install a bridge um, across the river just for the future um, might make things a bit easier but um, yeah money obviously is a big issue at the minute and just looking at this John Deere and uh, yeah it's probably going to need repair at some point so we can crack on and uh, do a bit of carting where we need to and I'll see you in a minute so as we unload the uh, auger wagon again you'll see there's not much left of the field and if we look at the contract we are 98% complete and 71,000 litres to go so all good actually um, still hoping that uh, we get a fair amount um, to keep I'm uh, thinking that we might just be able to afford the bunker um, as well as paying off maybe another five grand off the loan I think I think that's going to be the way to do it is just to um, pay a little bit off and uh, try and get rid of it as soon as possible but uh, yeah so I think what we'll do is we'll let the harvesters finish their job we'll then go around and mop up the uh, bits that are left and I'll uh, see you when that's done well the field is all cleared and uh, we've got a bit of a convoy on the go to uh, bring all of the spuds back we've got a, uh, a fair amount actually we've got the power tube that's full we've got our trailer that's full and we've got the uh, crone trailer that's partially full I'm going to say I can't remember how many litres are in it but yeah fair uh, fair amount of spuds uh, for us so about oh, 14,000 so yeah there's the pile that we dumped from the previous contract um, now the plan is here let's just find the tractors and turn some engines off there we go um, it's rather than dump 50,000 litres odd of spuds on the floor and then have to move them I uh, I'm going to borrow some more money we're going to build the bunker and then tip direct into there and then complete the contract and then we can pay off the uh, the difference so let's save first and uh, yeah I'll see you when we're about to place the bunker so game all saved and we're into the construction menu and under silos you'll see there are maize plus bunkers now these will take sugar beet and potatoes um, so let's uh, give that a go lovely slight bit of uh, encroachment into our uh, silage bunker but generally all good I did take a tree out because I thought we were going to go for the bigger one but it was just a little bit too wide so there we go might need to uh, raise the ground a bit around here at some point but yeah out of sight out of mind for now so let's start tipping <laughs> trailer load and uh, yeah then we're done apart from the ones on the floor so I think the plan will be is that uh, gonna load them into our trailer and uh, get them done off screen so with that all done we can jump out of there let the game save as per normal and we can collect on that contract super right now let's go back into the finance menu and we borrowed 
35 I think it was so we'll repay there we go we'll leave ourselves with 27k jobs are good and right the other thing actually I'm heading the wrong way um I keep going on about having no money um I've got quite a few uh tomatoes not tomatoes strawberries uh, piled up here so they may have to be sold at some point in fact we'll check the price for strawberries right now and let's have a look so they're best in january 500 quid but yeah four 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 five four five two might be worth a trip to mrs holland's village shop so uh yeah i might uh grab a trailer with the tractor attached to it get these loaded up and uh, go and sell them right then all loaded up with seven and a half thousand liters of strawberries and uh off to miss holland's village shop always makes me think of um uh what was it postman pat and whoever i can't remember her name now the the little lady that had the shop on there don't know why probably just me um now the trigger for things like this used to be around here are we in the right place uh maybe not let's uh let it save again of course and stick on so marcus oh yeah not in the right place just move ever so slightly backward no it's gonna be the one around the front isn't it <laughs> 50 50 chance and got it wrong there we go that's better so we'll let all those sell there was another pallet that wasn't far off spawning but yeah wasn't going to increase the time much more as it's already nearly half seven at night so there we go get the straps off what's that three thousand three hundred and forty three pounds not bad worth doing um let's get back out of here there we go thank you very much mrs holland that was a uh, much needed bit of uh, cash right um next job is going to be shifting the spuds so uh, we're going to need to source a bucket and uh, get the front ladder attached so 1600 pounds later and we've got ourselves a little bucket um could i find the front loader anywhere so search the barns had a bit quick run around the yard have how on earth did it get there i have absolutely no idea and now it's not gonna oh it is gonna let me pick it up um so yeah not quite sure how that happened um yeah right i'll get this uh back somewhere where we can actually attach to it and i'll see you in a second last couple of bucket loads now and uh we will have all these spuds cleared up off the ground i was uh yeah thinking earlier about um what we can do next i think what we might do is if it's still available next time we might do the uh, canola contract um just to uh, use a bit of different kit again really use a bit of a bigger harvester and uh can get that done we'll uh probably well we will definitely advance into the uh, second day of august um so that probably means we might need to feed the cows um so yeah looking forward to being able to do that and uh, use some of the spuds so all good really i'm uh yeah pleased we did the potato contracts they were um fairly uh, labor intensive at times but um no different to real life really i would imagine it's uh something that uh yeah it's not a quick process so right we can head to the bunker 
we'll get these tipped in and uh, then we can call it a day I think so with all the potatoes into the bunker you'll see it actually displays displays us the fill level so we've got 68 thousand liters of potatoes which is pretty good if I'm honest not sure how many we'll use per mix yet that's uh, something we're going to have to have a bit of a play with but um yeah i think we'll leave it there thank you very very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one take care